What's up guys, Houndish here, and today I wanted to go over all strike specific loot in Destiny. And now I know a lot of you guys will know many or all of these items, but seeing as there are some new players around and I've put up specific DLC versions of this video, we may as well jump in and look at all of the strike horde loot for every strike in Destiny. Firstly though, each strike of course has its own unique item which can be obtained from the chest after you kill the boss. You can open these during Nightfall Strikes, Heroics or the 320 Director version of the strike using Skeleton Keys. Skeleton Keys drop randomly in Heroic Strikes. You can also obtain one per week on your first Nightfall completion. Now let's check out the loot in order of the most recently added strikes. Firstly, the Nexus Strike which returned in the Dawning. The only specific drop here is the Mark of the Nexus Undone, and this is the class item for the Titan. Pretty cool Titan Mark formed of this kind of ribbed Vex Biomesh. It's worth mentioning that all of the class items from Strikes will roll random stats and focus upgrades for different weapons, as well as granting bonus Vanguard reputation. Up next we have the Devil's Lair or Sepix Perfected Strike. From here you can obtain the Devil's Dawn Sniper and the Sepix Disposed Bond for the Warlock. The Devil's Dawn Sniper is pretty unique. It's a heavy hitting sniper which does come with fixed bonuses you can see on screen. The elemental damage properties of strike specific special weapons or heavy weapons are always randomly rolled so that can be pretty useful. And here is the Warlock Bond and this is cool because it changes from the Warmind logo right there into the Seaver icon which is pretty awesome. Next is the Wretched Eye Strike. From here you can also obtain the Devil's Dawn Sniper, but another unique item is the Anathema Cannon Mark for the Titan, which is a pretty cool Seaverfied Titan Mark. Moving on we have the Abomination Heist or Summoning Pit Strike. Again you can obtain the Devil's Dawn Sniper from here, but also you can get the Mongrel Ogre's Grasp Gauntlets for the Hunter. There's some pretty cool Hive Rune Markings and Chains just like you have on the Abomination himself. Of course the rolls are totally random. And then for Tanix or the Shadow Thief Strike, you can obtain the Does Not Bow Auto Rifle as well as the Cloak of Tanix for the Hunter. The Does Not Bow looks just like this. Pretty cool Fallen themed weapon in the lowest rate of fire archetype for auto rifles. It's not an excellent weapon, but it's pretty cool. And the Cloak of Tanix right here is the Hunter Cloak, just like what Tanix is wearing. One of the most unique looking cloaks in Destiny. Going back to the April update strike, the Blighted Chalice on the Moon, here you can pick up the Hood of Malak Helmic for the Hunter, which literally makes you look like Malak with all the green slimy takeniness. Pretty cool, and again, the rolls are totally random on these armor pieces. So now let's look at Taken King and Year 1 strikes in planetary order. So firstly we have Omnigal. From here you can obtain the Grasp of Malak Pulse Rifle and the Omnigal Bond for the Warlock. The Grasp of Malak is a high rate of fire pulse rifle modelled on the old Crota Raid pulse rifle. It can be very good in PvP, although getting a good roll can be pretty difficult. The Omnigal Bond is also pretty cool, has this kind of blue crusted spiky thing going on, so that's pretty nice. Up next though we have the Fallen Saber Strike on Earth. From here you can obtain the Baron's Ambition Machine Gun as well as the Devouring Moor Warlock Helmet. The Baron's Ambition is a pretty cool Fallen themed machine gun with some great stats all around. The Devouring Moor is a Fallen themed helmet for Warlocks and it has these cool holographic strips of light running across the front which is pretty awesome. For Venus Strikes we have the Winter's Run or Archon Priest Strike. And from here you can obtain the Stolen Will Taken themed shotgun. Pretty unique looking shotgun with a high rate of fire, which can be a lot of fun in PvE content in particular. Also on Venus we have the Echo Chamber, which is a PlayStation exclusive strike. Here you can obtain the Imago Loop Hand Cannon and the Theocyan Vibres Gauntlets for the Warlock. The Imago Loop Hand Cannon is the same model as the Fatebringer Hand Cannon from Year 1, which is an absolute favourite. You can also roll the same godly perks, but getting great perks isn't easy. It is a fantastic weapon nonetheless. The Theocyan Gauntlets for the Warlock are also pretty awesome looking, again crafted from this kind of Vex Biomesh type of material. They're pretty unique. Now let's look at the Mars Strikes. Firstly we have the Undying Mind. This is also a prime place to get the Imago Loop Hand Cannon dropped, but also here you have the Mark of the Undying Mind for the Titan. This thing is pretty crazy, covered in kind of jungle-like vines, just like you see in the Black Garden, and just like you see on the Undying Mind itself. Up next we have the Dust Palace or Scion Flayer Strikes. From here you can obtain three cloaks for the Hunter, a Void, Solar and Arc variety, each in the respective colour. They're see-through cloaks which is pretty awesome right there. You can also obtain the Treads Upon Stars Scout Rifle which is a really solid scout rifle in the most popular archetype overall. Again the perk rolls are totally random. 
For Cerberus Vay 3 or Valus to Arc on Mars, you can also obtain the Treads Upon Stars Scout Rifle. Now for the Dreadnought Strikes, in the Shield Brothers Strike you can pick up the Treads Upon Stars once again. Also you can pick up the Maulers Maulers Gauntlets for the Titan, which feature some pretty cool Cabal tech which you'll see on the Shield Brothers themselves, which is pretty awesome. And finally we have the Sunless Cell Strike, and from here you can obtain the Dark Blade Spite Fusion Rifle, as well as the Dark Blade's Helm for the Titan. Dark Blade Spite has the same visual style as the Grasp of Malak Pulse Rifle, which is pretty cool. It's a super high impact fusion rifle, but charges very slowly. Nonetheless, it can be an absolute beast, and the Dark Blade Spite Helm looks just like this. It's a pretty scary looking hive themed Titan armor piece, but that about sums it up anyway, guys. There are some additional random class item drops which you can find, but they aren't named specific pieces for a particular strike, they're just older vendor or blue gear which have been updated and can drop from any chest at any time. And that about sums it up guys, so that is a breakdown of all strike specific named pieces of gear inside of Destiny. I hope you guys have found this video useful, if you have a thumbs up below is super appreciated and let me know in the comments what is your favourite strike specific loot drop inside of the game. If you do enjoy the content though, consider hitting subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with Destiny content. For now though, thanks for watching and you guys have an awesome day.